Hey, my name is Michael Forster. I'm in the field today with my colleague Alec Downey. We're at the foot of the Blue Mountains in Western Sydney, in New South Wales, Australia. We're here to help Dr. Sebastian Fausch of the University of Western Sydney. He's going to install 81 sat flow sensors, 8 cyphrometers, 8 dendrometers, and a lot of limb pass sensors. So Alec has just arrived to pick me up, so let's get stuck into it. Morning Alec, you ready for a big day in the field? Morning Michael, how are you? Yes, we're ready for a big day in the field. Nice and sunny, lots of bull ants. Yeah. Leading up to the Sefton clock. Right, good morning Sebastian, how are you going? Alrighty Mick, good morning everybody. Um, it's the 4th of December, we are at the Sefton plot. It belongs to the Hawkesbury Institute of the Environment. It's a common garden that has about 12 different species of eucalyptus, pinus and acacias. And today we will be installing gear for measuring hydraulics in eucalyptus grandis trees. All right, let's go. So Sebastian, how long are you running this experiment for? Uh, this particular experiment will run for about three months, three and a half months, right through summer. Okay. So in the beginning, uh, installation plus one campaign, then we will have a campaign midday, uh, mid midway point into the campaign, and then at the end of it we'll have another campaign where we'll look into um, canopy physiology, physiological parameters like deep water potential and so on. Okay, and are you actually going to cut the trees down at the end of the experiment? Yep, we'll do. Yes. So we'll fell the trees, we'll um, take all our separate samples, we will um, look at individual um, branches and their, their foliage, we'll measure all specific leaf area, we will dis dissect the whole tree. And what do you reckon you'll find out of all of this? Oh, that will be a long video. Uh, first <laughs> of all, we will understand much better um, how water actually flows within these trees, particularly when you come to summer and dry, dry drought, dry-ish, drought conditions, yeah. Um, we look into capacitance of the stems, we look into the refilling of embolized vessels, we're looking into how water potentials change within the stem and with height of the trees, so we're really using these trees as model individuals to understand of what happens with water transport in the trees while we have a while we're having a build up of the drought. Cyclometer installation down here. So obviously we want to get it right when we're up the top of the tree. So we're using a 26 mil Forstner bit. Forstner bit. So out in the field, you usually only get one chance to get it right. So obviously you want to have a bit of a practice before you get to the right thing. That's what we're doing down here. Here is one of the Linpar sensors we're hoping to install today. Uh, because of the wind, we haven't had a chance to get around to it. We're basically going to install three of these going right up the canopy to measure the light coming through the canopy. So another long day in the field. It wasn't as productive as we hoped because of the wind. Uh, but now we're going to go have a, a cold beer and we're having Indian for dinner, which we're all looking forward to. 